Okay, good day. In this video, you're going to learn how to determine the critical value or values for the t-test given yung ating alpha value, the degrees of freedom, at kung yung test natin ay directional or non-directional, or one-tail test or two-tail test. Okay? So, gagamitin natin yung naka-attach dito sa material na to na table, also called the t-distribution t, t table, and table F siya doon sa book na ginagamit ko. Okay? So, we have example number 1. Alpha value is 0 0.05. Degrees of freedom is 16. We have the right tail test. So, para makuha natin yung critical value nito, isa lang kasi one tail test lang to. So, we have here, uh, sa number 1 natin. So, ganito yung ating T-curve. Okay? Itong T-curve natin na to, degrees of freedom is 16. Okay? So, naandito yung ating, nasa right tail tayo. Ito yung ating area na 0 0.05. Okay? And then, alamin natin yung critical value or T-value. Gamit yung ating T-table. What you're going to do is to determine, no, to find 0 0.05 column in the top row labeled uh, one tail. Na? One tail. So, hanapin natin yung 0 0.05, tapos katapat nun, yung degrees of freedom na 16. So, we have, doon sa so 1 tail, hindi 2 tail, so that is 1.746. Therefore, ang critical value ng ating number 1, critical value, is one uh, positive 1.746. Okay? So, naandito yung kanyang rejection region. Okay? For example, number 2. So, ang ating alpha value is 0 0.01 left tail test. Degrees of freedom is 24. So, pag ganito siya. So, left tail naman. Naandito yung ating rejection region. Okay? So, ito yung area natin na 0.01. Okay? Itong alamin natin, yung critical value dito. Now, ang degrees of freedom natin is 24. So, gamit uli yung t-distribution table natin. Uh, alamin muna natin, o hanapin natin doon sa uh, column, doon sa taas, yung 0 0.01. 0 0.01, and then degrees of freedom sa left side, 24. So, we have 2.492. Okay, so ang critical value natin, critical value is negative 2.492. Okay, so we have examples 3 and 4. Ito siya. So point 10. So, point natin. So, ito yung ating alpha value na andito yung alpha over 2. This is uh, 0 0.05. The other half na andito, 0 0.05. Okay? Two-tailed siya. So, again, ang alpha value natin dito is 0 0.10. So, ito yung ating alpha over 2. Ito yung ating alpha over 2. Okay, for two tails. But, uh, pag titingnan natin dun sa ating um, table o t-distribution table para makuha natin yung critical values ng ating degrees of freedom na 18 two-tail test with alpha value 0.10, ang titingnan natin ay two tails raw 0.10 and then degrees of freedom 18. So, 18 and then 0.10. So, that is positive 1.734 dun sa right tail and negative 1.734 dun sa left tail. Therefore, ang ating critical values ay dalawa kasi two-tail test. So, critical values are positive 1.734 734 and negative 
Nandito yung negative 1.734. Nandito yung positive 1.734. Okay? And last, example number 4. Ito yung ating T-curve. We have right tail test na andito naman. Na andito yung ating 0 0.05. This time, ang degrees of freedom natin ay 12. So, titingnan uli natin. Yung 0 0.05, one tailed dun sa taas. So, 0 0.05, one tailed. Pagkatapos, degrees of freedom, 12. So, lalabas sa ating sagot ay 1.5. 782. Positive kasi right tail siya. Okay. Critical value is 1 point uh, 1 point degrees of freedom 12 1.782 Positive 1.782 Ito yung mga area na kung saan we reject the null hypothesis. Okay? So, ganun lang ang pagkuha ng critical value or values for t-test. Okay? So, my next video, we're going to solve a um, problem involving hypothesis testing for a mean using t-test. Thank you.